These are the five tips that will have saved me years of headaches when I was starting as a fresh new tech lead. But instead of giving you a list, I will share five real stories that happened to me. First, there are countless situations where I was faced with the technology that I was not familiar with or a problem that was too big for me to handle. I will let you guess what I did. Obviously, I worked extra hours and countless weekends to learn everything I didn't know for the whole purpose of solving these situations or problems. But the correct and easy solution is ask for help. I'm sure you are like me, surrounded by people that have a lot of experience that would also love to help you if you ask. Don't make my mistake. Second, stakeholders can basically smell that you are a new tech lead and start to give you deadlines and schedules that are impossible to meet. What did I do? Obviously, I overworked myself and my team to deliver on time. But with experience, I learned that those conversations are always a negotiation in disguise. So the next time you are in this situation, you will say, before I accept the deadline, I need to estimate with my team to make sure we can deliver on time. That's all. Don't say another word. Three, I still remember my first few one-on-one -on -one with the people I led. It was very awkward. I just didn't know what to ask or what to say. And I made it worse by focusing on sharing all the things I was working on, how hard I was working for the team, and all the extra hours I put on the weekends. Now that I think of that, I was basically scared to face my teammates because I was the one picked for the leadership role and I had to prove to everyone that it was the right decision. Advice, relax. You are the leader, the one-on-one -on -one should not be focused on you. Your responsibility is to ask questions. Try to see how the other person is feeling, what are the problems they are dealing with, how can you help them? Ask them what they would like to be in five years and help them to get there. Focus on the people, ask questions and listen. Four, I was so overworked and stressed that I forgot that I could take vacation. And when people suggested I should take some, I laughed and thought to myself, that is for weak people. I only took vacations when I was told I reached my maximum and I will not be able to accumulate more days. Crazy. This obviously led to stress and health issues, for which I'm still paying for up to this day. My paradigm shifted when I listened to a meditation instructor explaining that we humans also have cycles like trees that lose their leaves in autumn to rest and come back in full force in spring. We also need to rest and recharge to be able to come full force. Five. The last situation I want to share is my behavior in meetings with important people. For the most part, I was quiet and taking notes because I was sure that no one wanted to hear what I had to say and that lasted for months. One day, my mentor put me in the hot seat and forced me to be in the front and center of the conversation. I quickly realized that my point of view was actually valued by the group. Starting that day, if I have something to share, I make sure my point is heard and understood. If you want to be the best tech lead, you should watch this video. Thanks for watching and see you next week.